Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Gamify. Today we'll talk about how a hacker stole over $600 million from Axie Infinity. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's head into it. In what could be one of the biggest crypto heists, hackers stole $625 million worth of cryptocurrency from the blockchain called Ronin, which powers the NFT-based game Axie Infinity. According to Motherboard, hackers stole 173,600 Ethereum, whose collective value is currently roughly $625 million. Sky Mavis, the operator of the blockchain-based game Axie Infinity, revealed the breach, saying it had frozen the Ronin Bridge that allows the exchange of funds from the company's blockchain, the weak link in the chain. While Axie Infinity originally ran directly on the Ethereum blockchain, the high transaction costs and slow transaction speeds on that network quickly became untenable as the game grew. To get around those fees, Sky Mavis in 2020 started to use a sidechain, a parallel private blockchain running on top of Ethereum that could bypass the need to pay Ethereum gas for each and every transaction. Sky Mavis initially partnered with Loom Networks for the sidechain functionality. In March 2020 though, the company broke that partnership and introduced its own sidechain called Ronin. Unlike the distributed proof-of-work Ethereum blockchain, the Ronin sidechain operates on a much more centralized proof-of-authority system. Rather than consulting the entire distributed blockchain network to confirm transactions, this proof-of-authority system runs its transactions through a small set of trusted, handpicked validator nodes. Each node stakes some of its reputation on validating each transaction theoretically punishing loan actors that try to game the system. Centralized exchanges like Binance and decentralized exchanges like Atana allow users a bridge to transfer their in-game assets back and forth between Ronin and the main Ethereum blockchain. But because those transfers can happen more occasionally and at scale, the transaction costs end up much lower. Ronin's proof of authority system, centralized in just 9 validator nodes, is the key to its ability to provide a higher volume of transactions at a much lower cost than the sprawling Ethereum network. It also ended up being Ronin's weak point in this case. As Sky Mavis explains, the unknown attacker was able to breach Sky Mavis systems to gain full access to four validator nodes that the company controls. The attacker was then able to use a leftover backdoor in those nodes to gain control of another validator controlled by the decentralized Axie DAO. With that fifth validator node, the attacker could then provide a majority of validation signatures on any transaction it wanted, leading to the fraudulent transfers. Hackers were able to sweep large quantities of Ethereum and USDC cryptocurrencies from Ronin after they managed to successfully compromise the network nodes. Sky discovered the heist on Tuesday when a different user tried to withdraw 5,000 Ethereum via the Ronin bridge. But hackers began siphoning off crypto one week back. The fallout. While the attack happened last Wednesday, Sky Mavis said it didn't become aware of the problem until early Tuesday when a user tried and failed to transfer 5,000 Ethereum from the network. The fact that nobody notices for six days Day screams aloud that some structure could be in place to watch illicit transfers. Securitized Capital had Wilfred Day told Bloomberg, Sky Mavis says that all user tokens on the Ronin network are safe right now and that they're working with law enforcement to recover the stolen Ethereum and USDC cryptocurrencies from hackers. We are working with law enforcement officials, forensic cryptographers, and our investors to make sure there is no loss of user funds. This is our top priority right now, said Sky in a statement. For now, now though, legitimate users are unable to withdraw or deposit funds to or from the Ronin network from either Katana or Binance. The bridge will be opened up at a later date once we are certain no funds can be drained, the company said. And Sky Mavis also says that it's in the process of discussing with Axie Infinity and Sky Mavis stakeholders about how to best move forward and ensure no user's funds are lost, which sounds a little uncertain. In the hours after Sky Mavis Tuesday morning announcement of the breach, the price of Ronin Ronin's governance token fell nearly 22% to a new all-time low. And even before that dip though, Ronin's price had already fallen 36% since it was first introduced in late January. To help prevent similar attacks in the future, Sky Mavis said it will now require 8 of 9 Ronin validators to agree on all transactions, rather than just a bare majority of 5. The Hunt The vast majority of the Ronin attacker's ill-gotten gains 
are currently sitting in a fresh Ethereum wallet. Just over 6,000 Ethereum has been transferred to other addresses though, which has some hoping that investigators will be able to follow the money to pin down the culprit. The attacker sent some tokens to exchanges, which means there's a chance he can be identified and brought to justice. Axie Infinity co-founder Jeff Zerlin said during a presentation Tuesday at the NFT LA conference. Last summer, a separate attack on the popular Polygon sidechain captured roughly $600 million in crypto assets, but the majority of those funds were returned. Starting the next day, in February, a hacker managed to steal $320 million worth of cryptocurrency by exploiting the bridge between the Ethereum and Solana blockchains. Trading firm Jump Crypto ended up replenishing those funds itself to make community members whole and support Wormhole now as it continues to develop. What do you think about this crypto heist? Tell us in the comments. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.